Hello and welcome to the JBM Sports Fanatic channel. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. And yes, yeah, so we're going to start covering some college football news when it comes to recruiting. And we're going to start with this first video with linebacker Jalen Sneed, who was ranked number 97 on ESPN's 300. That is a very nice list to be on. I promise you that's the list you're going to want to be on. And he commits to Notre Dame, the Fighting Irish. So congratulations to Jalen and his family. I'm sure that they're excited. And I will read his reaction, you know, once I go through this article written by Tom Van Huren. We'll see his reaction on the next one. But, yeah, so he is indeed a linebacker. You know, he made that commitment today. And so this is fresh news here. Um, so he is six foot two, two hundred and ten pounds out of from Hilton Head High School in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Um, as I mentioned, a ninety seventh ranked prospect overall according to ESPN. And he chose Notre Dame over Oregon. Obviously, both of those schools would have been exciting to go for, but he chose the Fighting Irish, such a school with tremendous legacy. And now that I believe they're going to be returning to. Um, outside of the ACC, they was just in there for one season, but they're going to be returning to their independence now. And so, you know, sky's the limit. We'll see how the whole college football playoff scenario um, plays out, but that's a whole different um, scenario in terms of what changes may be on the horizon for that. But one thing's for sure, this young man is going to be coming in looking to make a true impact for Notre Dame and help that defense in the future. And so that is great news for the Fighting Irish um, so, and I definitely do want to hear from you guys in the comment section how excited you are about Jalen Sneed joining Notre Dame. I want to hear, especially from Notre Dame fans, you know, how do you feel about the recruiting class so far and just what Notre Dame season is going to look like? Definitely do want to hear from you guys. So let me know in them comments for sure. Um, but yeah, he initially released the top five that included Notre Dame, obviously, Oklahoma, Oregon. Tennessee and Texas A&M. Those are some great schools to choose from. And he had offers from some of the biggest programs in the country, including Alabama, Auburn, Florida, Florida State, Michigan, and Texas, among others. Uh, so his commitment, you know, is significant for the Irish as it gives the coaching staff 10 ESPN 300 commitments overall in the 2022 recruiting class. And that's second only to The Ohio State University, which currently holds 11 of the ESPN 300 commitments. And so Notre Dame's 2022 recruiting class is led by linebacker. Um, that's a very difficult name to pronounce, so forgive me for messing this one up here, but I'm going to say na Naif um, Tala um, Tahu Lamaka. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure I will learn his name when he's out there making a ton of plays on the field, but forgive me for that mispronunciation there. Um, and he's the number 95 prospect overall. And so Sneed, quarterback Stephen Angeli, as well as um, who is number six um, in terms of the pocket passing quarterbacks in the class. So, you know, um, definitely with a pocket pass, and you're going to want to bring an offensive lineman, in which they did. Offensive lineman Joey Tanona, who's ranked 141 overall. So the staff has added 17 total commitments from 14 different states. So that just means your recruiting presence is extremely strong, which we all know. Everybody knows who the Fighting Irish is. And so certainly that brand itself, you know, sells to a lot of recruits. And so th there you have it. And that goes to show they've been doing a tremendous job of recruiting in different places. But, yeah, congratulations to Jalen. And let's see. Okay, so this one right here written by Mike Singer from the Blue and Gold. Um, so Rivals 100, you know, linebacker Jalen Sneed commits to Notre Dame, details his decision. And so – yeah, so Notre Dame did land, you know, a key piece to his 2022 class on Monday evening um, from Hilton High, as I mentioned earlier. You know, he's an outside linebacker um, and announced that he pledged to the flight to the fighting the, the fighting Irish um, and picking Notre Dame over his fellow finalists. You know, Oregon. He said Notre Dame is a choice that's best for him because of the family atmosphere, the coaching staff, and how he felt when he stepped on campus. Obviously, I mean, Notre Dame, that's definitely one place that, you know, you certainly feel a very strong tradition, um, especially once you're, you know, there as a prospect as well. But he, it, for him, it came down to the whole family atmosphere and coaching um, staff as well there. So those are some of the important things for him in that decision. He said it felt like home and it's where he wants to be. And so 
it was exactly how they described it. It was perfect. Um, Snead took an official visit to Oregon on Ju- from June 4th to the 6th, and the Ducks gave him something to think about, you know, so it must have been pretty convincing for him to narrow it down to them, too. Um, but his Notre Dame visit was June 14th through the 16th, during which he informed Irish defensive coordinator Marcus Freeman and head coach Brian Kelly that he wanted to commit. He held off on announcing his decision until July 12th, which is smart. I mean, sometimes, you know, you recruit, you um, commit early, then you don't get to enjoy the rest of the recruiting process. Or either, you know, you just make that decision in, in the moment. But he took some time to think about it. And so he's for sure. Notre Dame is the place that he wants to be. So, again, congratulations to him. This is a fantastic moment for him and fantastic for the Fighting Irish moving forward, who's going to be looking to have a strong season this year as they make that push to return to the college football playoffs this year. And so let's see how that pans out for Notre Dame. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. Let me know if you enjoyed it, you know, and if this is your first time checking it out and maybe you're someone who hasn't subscribed yet, definitely do consider pressing that subscribe button. Um, it's the best way to help this channel grow, and I really do appreciate you guys' support. Um, and I continue to keep release, keep dropping these types of content, especially if you guys are viewing it. Uh, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great night.